basic concept and then in the final project we'll have the full thing so if i sit here and do the whole thing um it it just becomes a really long and boring video for you guys so let's do another another patch and this time we're going to bring it up near the top and it was this one right I layered it with this kick. So that's the sort of sound we're going to look to recreate that particular kick drum just here. Because I can leave the other kick in. I suppose the other thing to do would be contact loop masters, but you know what? This teaches you guys more, and it's what we should do. So that's what we're going to do. We do what's right. Right? So. Firstly, we're going to create the pattern. Uh, we hit E, we can get this up again. And do, 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 hopefully you guys remember what key we're in, but I haven't worked on this for ages, and I don't think I saved the key in here, did I? I think we're in G. Um, project, ah, G major. Look at that, I actually did something properly. So, what we'll do, we'll launch it off of a G. I think maybe G2. That's D2, what are you doing? G2, and we'll maybe cut that note down a little bit long there. So they drop there and there, right? Syncopation unders, you know this. Sweet, let's try and make ourselves a kick drum in alchemy to replace this guy with. So kick drum generally you can just do it with a sign so we're going to initialize our preset uh, we're going to mute the other kick so it doesn't change what we're hearing uh, if we look at source number a here source number a letter a uh, we'll change that to a sign and that gives us nothing like what we want right <laughs> so first things first with a kick drum, it tends to have the real like punch at the start, right? That's the real transient bit. That's actually generally quite a high frequency. Be something, we we'll try and keep it all in key. So it'd be something around here for me on this. Then using automation, we're gonna whack that down to probably minus 24. Yeah, and that gives us the base of our kick, right? You can hear that. So it's going to move across three octaves. That's how we're going to get this to work. Now, as well, kick drum, really short transient. So our attack, we want this to be almost instant hold. We don't really want any. Um, release, we want to be super, super short. Sustain, we don't have any. So just down to decay. So we're going to have something like this. Yeah, and it's just this weird like high-pitched pop at the minute. If we click on the tune, so where we pitched it up 12 semitones here on that sine wave, we're going to assign this its own ADSR as well. So we're going to switch the on for the target, go ADSR envelope, new ADSR. And now you can see we're on two and it's got its own thang going on here. And what we want to do, we need that to stay where it is and then drop down super rapidly. So how are we going to do that? Where it says ADSR2 here, we're going to tell it to drop down 36 semitones because we want it to go to minus 24, but it's already at plus 12. So we need to go 36 to make it drop the right amount, right? She might have done my maths right there. Cool, and we want that to take a little bit of time so we can give it an attack. Um, we don't really want a decay. We don't really want any release to happen. Sort of all going to be on the attack here. Cool, so our actual sound might be too short, so let's go back to here. Uh, 
And what was our target? It's going to be a much better kick, by the way. Cool, there's lots of distortion and stuff happening in there. Might actually want this to go even lower. Now we can use the filter drive a bit. It's actually too much of a click right now, so just maybe dial it back. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. All right, you can hear it's doing the job at least. So I've taken the actual uh, other kick out. So let's drop that in. So we've at least got a few bars of it for perspective. It's doing the right sort of thing now. So that is now completely our own kick drum performing there, right? So look, we, we've muted uh, Logic's one and we've muted from the break that we took in. That's just our kick drum doing that. The one that we've made in the last couple of minutes there, just to prove that it can be done. So we need to bring you back in. So it says too much going on now. Let's just have a quick listen between the two and make sure I am in the right ballpark. Of course, cool, so it's a very different sound. Cool, so there's a lot of uh, like high end going on with the other one. We can we can make it a bit noisy. And we can give it that feel, most definitely. What we'll do, we'll go into oscillator B. Uh, we'll take the saw off, we'll put the white noise on though. Uh, let's go global and turn it on. Maybe if we use pink. All right, yeah, pink. Can dirty it up a bit. Let's just have a quick listen again. Ours has got a nice click as well, which is good. And we could do that and dial this back in level. Cool, let's fill feed it up a bit. Just have a little listen to what that's done. If we turn off oscillator B, super clean, a bit filthy. And we'll dial it back even further, Hank. That's good. Yeah, you know what? That's doing the job right there. 